many chickens in your lifetime do you think you cooked? Estimated. Good heavens, I couldn't. I didn't have a clue. How old are you now? Hundreds. Hundreds. 70. You're 70. One. Yeah, probably what? 50 a year? 20 a year? 40 a year? I have no idea. Leanna, I'm sorry to say, there are no giblets or gizzards <laughs> for your chicken. Yes, Leanna, we have no giblets. There are little balls on the end of the drumstick that we can give to Tommy Coat. Remember that? Tommy Coat used to love the little fat balls. The, knuckle, the knuckles. Plain old simple chicken was that she'd throw full carrots in there. And I would always eat the carrots later on in the evening when they were greasy and cooked but cold. So you got what? What, on, what do you have on the chicken? Just lemon and pepper. Lemon and pepper. I got garlic and lemons inside of it. She put garlic cloves and lemons inside it. I don't think you did that when we were kids though, did you? No. I don't think I ever cooked with garlic, ever, when yeah. kids were little. Yeah, I don't really remember garlic. Uh -uh. This looks much prettier. Now we're talking. No gizzard. No diaper inside. No. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> brownness yet, but it is only a couple hours away before this dead bird is devoured. So my mom has cooked and killed, not killed, but cooked probably 1,500 chickens. I have done that. 1,500 chickens, Mom, that's what we figure. Do you like it better than Kentucky Fried Chicken? No. That is, what? Never. Look at the camera. What? I love what? Kentucky Fried what? Chicken. What, 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 what? Love it. Do you, okay, here's another question for you. Mom, look at me. Do you like, would Taco Bell or KFC better? Taco Bell. There we go. I love that. No, Tiffy. <laughs> Sammy. Sure I don't care. Tiffy. I mean, Sammy. Oh, ooh. What do you got there? What do you got there? What do you got there? Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Okay, what's going on here? Come on. Uh, turn it you off guys turn it on. It'll recognize it. Can you give him a run? The, D the DVD box. Let me see if I... There, I can have another one. Uh-oh. Someone's got a sneaky. Oh, oh, mom. Urine of a cat. Uh, uh oh, guys, got the big one now. Really powerful. Yeah. What yeah, is that? It just doesn't go away. He's got an alligator. Oh my! You got a big anaconda. No, Tell me about when you held me as a baby, when they, when you delivered me and they handed you. Beautiful. Handed you to me. You were absolutely. Look at beautiful. the camera. What were you thinking? You were beautiful, and then the next day they didn't bring it to me, and I couldn't figure out why. And? All of a sudden, you were a yellow baby. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because you had spinal man, or you had um, yellow jaundice. That was it? Yeah. yeah. Michael, Michael had it too. Michael yeah. You were. You stayed in the hospital it's about. Not uncommon. Two more days. Firstborn. No, you, you were considered a preemie. Really? Yeah. You were. Michael was nowhere near a preemie. He was almost. He was not. We don't care pounds. about Michael. We don't want to hear about yeah, Michael. Yeah, but he was jaundice too. Yeah, well, we're he talking was about me right weeks now. weeks early. All my babies were late. He w he was well. They weren't late. Well, I wanted to get out and do but stuff. But he was early. Did I have a collapsed lung? Late. She mm. weighed nine pounds fourteen ounces. Did I have a collapsed lung too? Yes, your lung collapsed. Why? Well, exactly. Did the doctor hit me too hard? Your young your lung collapsed, huh? and you were you had a yellow jaundice. Tell me about the time that I whizzed in the doctor's face. So I, you did what? I don't remember. You do too remember that. You you whizzed on your grandpa. I know that. <laughs> you said I whizzed in the doctor's face. He picked well, me up. You probably did. Oh, I you... wasn't used to little boys. I had little girls. He told me when the doctor picked me up, I whizzed in his face. Oh. But I never heard the one about grandpa. What happened there? Well, I was changing Kernet? the diaper, and Grandpa Kernet was sitting right next to me, and all of a sudden there was a little fountain going up in the air. <laughs> and I like, got whoa! And I got cramps. No, but he, he kind of pulled back. And thought it was hilarious. <laughs> because I wasn't like, used to little boys. There was one time that I was... Uh, that was when I first... Probably the first day I brought you home because Grandpa uh, stayed with your sister so I could go get, oh. uh, visit you and bring you home. Grandpa, too. can that babysat with the three girls? Yeah. 
How about that? Yeah, that was a shock to me, I'll tell you. Oh, so you learn something every day. Yep. Wow. Did he have fun? Look yeah. at me, young lady. I guess he did. Yeah? He did complain. Was he happy that he had a grandson? He was, oh, sure. He, uh, him and Leanna had a little go-round. <laughs> what, what do you mean? I don't know. She acted up and... At what, two? Well, that like a kicking act of it, too. Let's see, three, two, one. Two. Yeah, she was two. And she acted up on Grandpa Kernet, eh? Well, she was always acting up. <laughs> no, Leanna? She so, was, she was just a little bit too much for him to handle? She was, yeah. Well, you know, Grandpa, he was kind of a... I don't know, he wasn't know. the most patient with children. Yeah. Because he was all mellow with a little bit of liquor in him. <laughs> well, he was probably a lot mellower with you kids than he was with his own. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we always loved him. He was he was a very calm, nice man. Yep. Fiddler. Yep. He had a good sense Mandolin of humor. Mandolin player. Yeah, he was... He had a, Daddy had a good sense of humor. He could tell a story, too. So you got to hold me as a baby. And you're your, I'm your first boy. Yep. And your thoughts were... Holy shit, I have four kids to take care of. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> what were you thinking? How do exactly. I know that what was... What were you thinking? For real, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he expects that, me to remember what? Who's in that peanut six, gallery over there? Eight years ago? <laughs> yeah, you must have... You, can, you can't bring that memory back to your mind? No, Think. I haven't thought about it in many years. Well, I'm trying to reminisce. <laughs> How about your first child, Jamie, when you first were handed your first baby? What was that like? Oh my God, she's blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she had blue eyes. <laughs> yeah. She was blue. <laughs> she was like turquoise. <laughs> <laughs> Pink and turquoise. How long before Dad came into the room? Oh, I don't have any idea, Al. Well, yeah. back then, back then he wasn't there, obviously. No, he wasn't in the room when I had That's her. what I mean. But he, as soon as they take you in your room, they come in. The father comes in to see the babies. Right. And you. Uh, whatever. <sighs> Who was the hardest one to give birth to? The hardest one? Boy, that's a good question. I'm guessing Leanna. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Let's there see. he is. Who was the hardest one? Hey, baby. No, you're not going to climb on me. Ouch. He's a that big old pooch. That hurts, baby. That hurts, mama. Oh. Yeah, that hurts, mama. The uh, hardest one. Oh, that's a good question. Um. Let's see. It wasn't Jamie. It wasn't Leanna. Racy, I think. Mm -hmm. Racy can be troubling sometimes. Racy was a big baby. I'm not sure if it was Racy or the last one. Definitely wasn't me. That was a preemie, though. I honestly don't remember. Who no. was the biggest one, Racy? Racy was my biggest, yeah. Yeah, she she, pounds, she's pounds. the one who scarred you with all those stretch marks. <laughs> she the sure little did. bitch. <laughs> right, Sammy? She did. So, yeah, she ruined my mom's she ruined my body. I mean, no more bikinis. <laughs> you were a very pretty lady back then. Yeah, it's hard to imagine. All that. of my friends were like, Mrs. Pitaway, Sandy, she's so pretty. <laughs> what a MILF. Well, they didn't say that because that was before the word MILF. Or what a MILF. Mother, I would like to F. You don't know what a God, MILF is? That's Terrible. Oh my god. Well, you're obviously not in the internet Jeez. generation. Jeez. There are porno sites dedicated to MILFs. Okay? There was one, Jamie's, one of Jamie's boyfriends. Yeah. He was really, he really thought I was hot stuff. <laughs> the one in Farmington? Uh, I don't remember who he Radford. was. He came in with another boy, and when I came into the living room, he said to the kid, See? Didn't I tell you she was beautiful? And you heard it? You heard that? <laughs> oh, yeah, very clearly. <laughs> Hi, cutie. That's funny. Hi, cutie. You know, sweetheart. And you mom's little sweetheart. Mm. 
<sighs> you mama's baby now, huh? Hmm. Yeah, you mama's baby. Where'd you meet Dad? He came over to the house with uh, his buddy Whitey. Um, Whitey was Diana's boyfriend, my, my girlfriend's boyfriend. Yeah, the Sicilian woman, blonde. Yeah, no, he wasn't Sicilian. No, Diana. Oh, yeah, Diana was Sicilian, yeah. Whitey was Indian. A toe-headed Indian at that. Well, so was I. Dick Garapy. Yeah, but I mean, he was... A lot Indian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, almost full-blooded, almost. Mm. Anyway, uh, they came over, and I was babysitting for Uncle Jim. And then we heard a fire siren... Or no, he, I went out to check out his car. He had a really neat car. Um, mm -hmm. Ford, you know, all leaded, uh, lowered back end. Right. And uh, then there were, we heard a fire siren. And Diana and your dad came running out to the car. And Whitey said, let's go follow it. So we went and followed it. <laughs> Left Kiss. Uncle Jim home alone. There you go. Good and we went good babysitter that you are. Yeah. And we went to this party. All males. Drunken. Mm -hmm. beer, bot, beer cases stacked up in front of the ceiling. Huh. Their parents, I mean stacked up in front of the picture, picture window. Mm -hmm. Their parents were gone. And uh, Whitey and your dad you had mean a they beer. weren't, the parents went in on it? No. <laughs> the, you get that notice. The, um... Whitey and your dad had a beer, mm -hmm. and uh, I told you, Dad, I said, I got to get home. I said, if I'm, if it's found out that I'm here, my dad's going to kill me. Where was Grandma? She, I don't know. I was babysitting. Working? No, huh? she didn't work then. She was probably at my Aunt Merle's. Making you babysit. Yeah. Well, I didn't mind. Uncle Jim wasn't a baby then. He was probably, let's see, I had to be 17. He was probably 12. Yeah. And, um, what was he like as a kid? Uh, at 12? He was a good kid. Yeah. A little mischief, but a good kid. Hmm. Anyway, your dad said he took. He was nice enough to take me home and get me out of there. He convinced Whitey to hmm. get his butt out of there, take me home. Were they in Brentwood or where, where Dad lived? No, they were in Redford. Redford. That's where they were, yeah. Right off Old the Redford. River. Old Redford. What did Dad drive? At that time, your dad drove a beautiful Ford, solid black, all leaded in, uh, shackled. Mm, it was really pretty. Shackled. Re you know, lower back end. I think it was called shackled. I could be wrong. Uh, is that where you lost your virginity? Oh, shut up. <laughs> God. <laughs> Jeez. Did I just ask my mom that? Whoops. Yes, you did. Oh, my Duh. gosh. Anywho. He, sound, he sounds like my dad. When my dad came to see me, I had a, a miscarriage right after we were married. Mm -hmm. Like three months after we were married. My dad said, how pregnant were you? And I said, as pregnant as I am married. <laughs> That's a good one. So. Yeah. I was like, jeez. Well, you think that's why he asked me? <laughs> sure. Sure. Hmm. I thought it was just to shut your dad up. Huh? Well, I, I know my sister got pregnant on her honeymoon. Yeah, well, I mean, look how fast I got pregnant with all my other kids. And her mother-in-law counted the days. Oh, okay. Oh, for God's sake. I mean, I had... Um, and her son was born... I had... June 5th? Yeah. And their and their wedding anniversary was July twenty sixth. Oh jeez. So I, where was what was Uncle Murray doing? He was in the Navy. Uh, over by Vietnam. No, he was in Okinawa. That's getting closer to Vietnam. Yeah, but I don't think we were even in the Vietnam War then. Uncle Jim was in, in the Vietnam War. So it was Uncle Marty, I believe. No, he wasn't. Off the coast. Uncle Marty was a dental technician. Really? Yeah, in the Navy. I didn't know that. Yep. And then he went in the Marines, though, because he wanted to see more action. No, I think he went in the Marines as a... Um, to learn more? 
Hmm? Go on. As a disciplinary action. No shit. Uh-huh. Oh, well. I, I think I'm pretty What sure. year? Oh, I don't remember. Well, let's see. Hmm. I don't know. Well, he straightened that boy out, didn't he? He went from the Navy to the Marines to... To... Musician? Musician. To... Working for the airlines. There for you go. Years and retiring from the airlines. Um, very smart man. Yep. Very good brother. Very protective of all of us. Yep. Heartbroken over Uncle Jim's death. Really mm. having a hard time with it. When Marty was born, Mama told Marty that this was his little boy. And from that time on, that's how Marty thought of Jimmy. And Marty was his protector and his friend, and that's how he was. And when he lost Jimmy, I just talked to him a couple weeks ago or last week. He said it was like losing his son. His days where he just cries, can't stop crying. Mm. Oh, it really affected him. Makes me sad, but because after Uncle Jim died, they when they did the autopsy, they found out that he had uh, cancer, and that makes it easier for me that he's gone because he didn't have to suffer through the cancer. And he was, you know, really yeah. broken hearted over Aunt Ganey and him. And he had reached a point where he's having a hard time breathing. And he was worried that he wasn't going to be able to work anymore. So he was kind of at his wit's end, obviously. Yeah. You don't usually kill yourself unless you're at your wit's end. Yep. But it, for me, it's like sister. Even though I miss sister, and she's the best friend I ever had. I loved her dearly. But she was so full of cancer and in so much pain. And she suffered so much near the end that when she died, I was actually glad for her. Because she didn't have to suffer anymore. Yeah, and so was her husband dead. she lived to be 80 three years old, and I figured that's a pretty good life. Yeah. So, and we had lots of fun. We knew each other. Yeah, Uncle Jim's not the type of character who would want to go through that shit. He's no. some more of a it's get up and do stuff. such an outgoing, happy guy that he would least expect it of him. Yeah. But, you know, when you're that age and the woman you love... When you figure your marriage is over, it's not exactly a time in your life when you want to start over again. Yeah. So, he had a lot going against him. and I guess he just figured it was easier to go out in the backyard and end it. And that's what he did. Didn't leave a mess for anything to be cleaned up or anything. And God love him. And I know he loved the Lord. And if there's a heaven, then he's there. So. Love to fish. Yeah. Take my canoe and go on out. Yeah. Go up that uh, lagoon and get out there and get some crappie with Grandma. Yeah. <laughs> who's definitely in heaven if there's a heaven. John says he's up north, or he's up, he's in heaven fishing with Jesus. <laughs> and Grandma. Yep, and Grandma. And who knows, maybe even Ray Brill. <laughs> yeah. Because they both love ocean fishing. Oh, yeah. Down in Florida. And they loved each other. And sister. And Betty Lou. Yes. <sighs> Probably dating Betty Lou right now. <laughs> <laughs> Since she loved him so much. Uh, well, she didn't love him so much. She, she was, was hot for him. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, well, that's always there. And I don't think her husband ever knew. Uh, well, <laughs> Dick was a dick, so who cares? No, I don't mean Dick. I mean... Um, Joe? Joe. Yeah. Yes, you never told Joe. So, um, 
Back to Dad. Yeah. And you. Yeah. Move that magazine. Huh? Move that magazine. Get that camera out of my face. Well, then you gotta say goodbye in five different languages. I get seven. Come on, you're worldly. Do it. Ciao. Adios. Um, sayonara. Uh, Vider Sane. Oh, Vider Sane. Four. I said something. off Vider Sane. It said Vider Sane. It's okay, though. That. They say that for slime. Okay, cool. Um, goodbye. That doesn't count. You got four. It still. does, too. That's Not five languages. Book. That's four so far. Um, if you're really struggling, French, I'll give it to you. French. French is, oh, jeez. We heard it in that movie. Or Oh, that's right. Alex, shh, no, doesn't well, count. I can say I love you in French. Okay, if you say that, I'll Je give it to you. beaucoup. I love you oh, very much. I don't know that one. Mm -hmm. Je t'aime beaucoup. Also. Beaucoup. Oh, beaucoup, beaucoup. You're at five. How about in you? Ah, 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 peanut gallery. Jewish. <laughs> Yiddish. Jewish. How about... Oh. Shalom. How about Hawaiian. It's hello, goodbye, and I love you. Uh, you know, hello. I saw. Uh, oi. <laughs> okay. Since you heard it from Alex, but you had a little. I mm -hmm. didn't hear it from Alex. In the English, say? Goodbye. Ta ta. There we go. Ciao. <laughs> mm, 2011. Ciao, yowie. The day after Halloween.